watch this video and then we'll talk about it. Number one comment that we get on TikTok. Why are we not engaged yet? I think it's time for a story time. We've been together for 13 years, which means there has been a little bit of frustration along the way. Namely, the number of timelines I've been given that did not pan out. The most recent one, the end of summer 2022. I had identified two dates. I thought it might possibly be happening. Our anniversary and my birthday. With regards to the anniversary, I'm to blame. I made a fatal error by saying one phrase. I come into the bathroom, you're getting ready, and I ask, are you photo ready today? In my mind, I'm thinking there is no other reason he wants to know if I'm photo ready. Today is the day. It was not the day. If you are not careful, these men will have you giggling and laughing at a joke that is on you. They've been together for 13 years. How is that rushing? First of all, if you're not careful, they'll be having you losing all of your logic and all of your common sense. And you'll be making sense out of things that don't make sense and saying things don't make sense that actually do make sense. And I don't know if I put this in the clip, but she she shared how her, her family was kind of concerned about one of y'all getting married. Listen, I get it. I get it. Sometimes you can have family members um, because you come from a, a marriage-centered, male-centered family, and they, from the jump, ask you, when are you getting married? When are you having kids? I get that. But I'm sorry, 13 years? I think they're looking at you like how a lot of us are looking at you. Also, if a guy wants to marry you, if, if he is on the same page with marriage as you, he will get it done. <clears throat> okay there won't be all these excuses about okay once we get a house once i get some more money once i get some more this once i get some more that you can throw together a wedding thanks to tiktok and pinterest and google you can throw together a cheap wedding okay you can cut back on a couple things and get a marriage license you'll sit back and watch your man spend his money on any and everything but when it comes down to something that's important to you all of a sudden oh we gotta wait till this and I ain't got no money and we gotta wait till that and every time this or that thing comes they move the goal post and they can't marry you until this or that next thing we as women have to get to a mindset to where we realize that there's nothing wrong with us wanting the things that we want if you want to be married and have a family or whatever the case may be, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like where we mess up is getting with men who either say they want those things and they change their mind later, or they play us because they just want to trap us and they say they want those things, or they never wanted those things. They were up front with us. And we just thought somewhere in our delusional minds that we could change them. If it was one of the first two things where they said, yeah, I want to be married. I agree with you, blah, blah, blah. And then they show you that they are no longer on that same wavelength. They seem to be going in the opposite direction of what you guys agreed upon. We have to be strong enough to cut our losses and walk away because in that situation the trap happens because we think oh well we've already been together for x amount of years we already have kids we already have a house we already have an apartment we don't want we need to get to a point where we say i don't care what we have i'm walking away because i'm not letting you waste any more of my time you were dishonest and you said you wanted this thing that i wanted as well and now we're here and you're saying something totally different and i don't appreciate that and i'm not going to allow you to waste my time anymore if you got to take some time to save some money or do whatever you got to do to make a plan and get out then you do that and then for the other situation where we think that we're going to change this guy we got to be we have to start being realistic and stop walking around thinking that we are living in some live real romantic comedy this is real life okay and when you get the valuable gift of a guy being up front with you about who he is and what he wants, the biggest mistake you can say is I can change his mind 
or I'll love him enough and he'll change his mind. Or you heard the story of a woman who knows a woman who knows a woman who was dating a man for X amount of years and he didn't want to get married and all of a sudden one day he wanted to get married. That's not going to be you. Those stories are exceptions to the rule. Also, <clears throat> I've witnessed women in those particular stories. The, the romantic story of the man who said he didn't want marriage and now he wants to marry her. Those women are now married to warm bodies. Somebody who's just there. Because what they left out is the fact that they begged and they pleaded and they argued for that man to marry him them. And when he finally did, it was kind of like a shut up ring situation here. And then that man went about that relationship knowing that he was the prize and that he didn't have to put any more effort. How you start off is pretty much how you're going to end off. So if you started off begging and pleading and and nagging and reminding and dropping hands and ultimatums that's how the relationship's gonna go if you want to be in a relationship or married and there's nothing wrong with that and I'm not gonna let anybody tell you that there's something wrong with that I will block somebody if they do tell you that there's something wrong with that if those things are what you want the best gift that you can give to yourself is respecting yourself enough to not be with anybody who's on the opposite end of the spectrum of what you want. The best gift you can give to yourself is somebody who wants the same things as you in the time frame that you're wanting them in. The best gift you can give to yourself is not putting yourself in a position where you're begging someone to marry you. How romantic is that even? A lot of these guys aren't rushing to marry you because they are waiting around to see if something better comes along. And then if they do decide to give up and marry you, they will still leave you if something that they think better comes along. Or they will just sit around like a lump on a log, just holding up space, not taking initiative or doing anything in a relationship. Or worse off, you'll be on the internet laughing at something and you're the joke.